Marrowbone and Ox Heart Stew. This is a very hearty stew. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Uh, in Britain we get uh, lamb hearts and we can also get ox heart. Um, as you can see by the price it is really really cheap. That's 428 grams um, for £1.33. Um, and a similar sized one there. I picked up two. Uh, this is going to make um, a substantial stew for me and my brother that will probably last a couple of days. Also, um, available in the store, and this was from Morrison's, they've got this sort of variety meat uh, section in the meat department. And I can also get old fashioned buttery items such as marabone from there. Um, I don't know if you've ever cooked with marabone, boys and girls, but if you have, you will know what I'm talking about because. It just makes everything taste so beautiful, rich and sumptuous. So uh, we're not going to use a stock cube in this, we're just going to use a few ingredients. And to that end what I've done is I've chopped up one and a half onions, round about two cups of a roughly chopped uh, um, onion, uh, that's brown onion, and um, a cup each of chopped up, uh, roughly chopped celery and roughly chopped carrot. Um, you'll need a few cloves of garlic. I've got say about three cloves of garlic here chopped up and a generous uh, tablespoon of tomato paste, tomato puree. All right let's get this thing cooking. Once your oil's nice and hot straight in with your onions and give that a stir. The brave and intrepid Spoonzilla is back for your delictation. And just get that moving around in the fat. We're not messing around with this one, we're going straight in now with the arcs. This is already chopped up, which is rather nice, into sort of bite sized pieces. And that's ready to go. If you've never had heart before, I can tell you you're missing out. And I can imagine some of you are going, ugh, heart. Well, you know, in the old days for the old hunters, they used to go out and they'd kill their uh, prey animal. And the first thing the hunters would eat was the heart to give them the strength and fortitude and to pay homage to the beast that um, gave up its life to feed them. I know that all sounds corny nowadays, but um, that's kind of the way things were back in days of yore. So, I seem to remember seeing um, on TV sometime years ago, it was a recipe, uh, Henry VIII's favourite recipe for ox heart. But, um, I guess that's lost in the annals of television by now. So there we go. So all you've got in there at the moment is onion and ox heart. Let's get that stirring round just to seal up the ox heart pieces. And now I'm going in with the garlic. In goes the garlic. Give that a stir. Oh, I love the smell when garlic hits the mix. There we go. I'm cooking this in my old iron because it's a kind of an old, oldie worldy dish, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're not messing around. Into that goes the lovely carrot and celery, which are cut up nice and rough. Nice, chunky, peasanty pieces, just the way I like it. And into that now. We need to top that up with lots of water. And I want to top it up till it's just above the level of the meat. Probably a little bit more in that I need. And I seem to remember I've got a bit of vino left over from my... Uh, the salmon pie recipe I did. 
So let's get all that in there. Waste not one not, eh, boys and girls? Right. And into that now, we want the tomato paste. And we want to immerse our two marrow bones in there. There are excellent recipes for marrow bone stews all over the world. And there's a particularly nice one I've had that was Korean. And that was absolutely awesome. Um, but um, this is done in the traditional British style. Very old world recipe this. Very old world ingredients. A little more agua. That's good. And the only thing we need to do now with that is get some uh, salt and some pepper in it. Okay. As you know, I have a prodigious appetite for pepper of all kinds. So I'm going to put loads in. Lovely. Yeah, I know. Can't help it. I'm addicted. You put in as much as you like, though. Okay. Right, and salt. I think for a pot of that size, we're going to need about two or three teaspoons. One, two. We'll test it near the time it's done and then add a bit more salt if necessary. Uh, I'd rather undersalt it than oversalt it, boys and girls. And there you go. Um, that is a very, very, very simple uh, stew cum casserole, cum soup. And we now let that cook. I bring that up to the boil and then I will simmer that for about two and a half hours uh, on a very low simmer. Um, you can also put it in the oven in a casserole dish and leave it for a similar amount of time on about 150 degrees Celsius. All right, I'm going to lift the lid a couple of hours later. And you see my two marrow bones are right there. And what, what you find is you get a nice um, scoop of marrow down the middle of that bone. So what I like to do is I like to fish these out, poke out that marrow and then chop it up and put it back into the, uh, into the, into the uh, soup, into the stew here. Um, there's a wonderful smell coming off this and there's a certain um, depth of flavour that you only get from, from bone marrow and the best stock is all always made from marrow bone. Um, so I'm just going to get on and do that and then I'll serve it up in a bowl and let you see what it looks like. Okay, as I uh, lifted out the um, marrow bones, the, the marrow actually just literally slid out of the tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mash that up a little bit. What it, it looks quite fatty, but I assure you that is where the delicious wonderful flavour is. Um, what I'm going to do now is just stir that in and then I'll adjust uh, for salt and pepper and meanwhile we've got these two little things so if you've got a doggy in the house he's going to be very very happy to get hold of that and then he's going to chomp on that for a while and then bury it in the garden. Why do dogs do that? Anyway I digress. Just pouring myself a nice bowl of this. My uh, battery picked a lousy time to quit. But there you are. A beautiful bowl of ox heart and bone marrow soup. Enjoy. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.